Hey guys, this is Sandy White from Simply Fit, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. And on today's segment, which I told you guys about last week, we're going to be talking about two techniques that you can use to relieve stress. The first one is a breathing technique, and the second one will be the EFT tapping, and that is going to be performed by Miss Jessica Ortner from the Tapping Solution. And it's about 10 minutes, so I hope you enjoy it. So if you're new to the channel, again, my name is Sandy White. I'm the host of Simply Fit. And what we basically do here is provide you guys with simple tips and strategies so that you're able to overcome suicide and depression. Guys, it's vitally important that you take care of your mental health as well as your physical health. Because if you're having challenges up here, this beautiful body that God provided to you guys does not work very well. So we want to provide you guys with temp simple tips that you can take care of immediately. No stress, strain, or struggle. And both of these tips you can do, these strategies I should say, you can go into the ladies room if you need to. If you're at work and you're like, hey, I don't want everybody seeing me do these breathing techniques or I don't want it, I don't want everybody to see me doing these uh, the EFT tapping but you have to keep in mind at some point remember embarrassment is a choice if you're stressed out to the point where things are not functioning well for you you have to do what you have to do and sometimes the people that you don't want you to you don't want to see you doing something healthy you might be surprised you might save somebody's life because they may need to know a technique so simple as EFT or this breathing technique and the breathing technique both the EFT and the breathing technique they work on the amygdala rewind the amygdala and that is a portion of the brain stem that releases stress from your body. And unnecessary stress raises cortisol, causes all kind of havoc in your body, as well as putting you in a situation where you're gaining weight, excessive belly bloat, and you know, those are the things that you don't want. You want to make sure that you are paying attention to how your body is feeling, when you're stressed out, where the stress is, what's causing the stress. And again, these techniques will work, but they're not permanent because you have to realize what is actually going on that's causing the stress. So you can do a lot more than simply uh, doing these two techniques, which are life-saving, but we also want to remove the stress permanently if, if, that, if that is at all possible. So the breathing technique is going to be four breaths in, hold about five seconds, and then two breaths out. And you're not blowing all of the breath out at one time. So it's half, hold, half. That starts to allow the stress in your body to subside to a point where you can now start thinking rational in case you didn't know when you're stressed out your body goes into a flight or fight situation and that when it's in a fight situation as you all have been seeing lately those have been extremely deadly and we don't want that all right so together let's do two sets four breaths in Okay, let's do another one. It's just that simple. All right, we'll do one more set and then we'll bring Miss Jessica Ordner on and she's going to do the EFT tapping. She is from the Tapping Solution and they have an app that you can download on your phone and it goes through so many different tapping options not just for stress like I was having challenges with sinuses so I was tapping on sinus pressure and relieving that pressure and then 
again when you're going through these processes you have to think what's causing this so for me i needed to clean out my sinus passages i needed to um you know go to bed a little earlier since i was having a little bit of pressure but the tapping does help and they do a scale from one to ten uh, 10 being the worst, 1 being you're at woohoo level. <laughs> so keep in mind, and then paying attention, as I mentioned before, what literally is causing, because you can have stress in your body, but it could be at the level 1. And if things are going awry and you're not paying attention, you have to realize when you're, when things are going in a, a direction that you really are not comfortable with whatever challenges you're having in your body it, they're going to be magnified so you got to pay attention to what's going on and what's causing the pressure to be magnified where normally it may be a one or two and now it's escalated up to a 10. all right so we're going to do our breathing techniques one more time then jessica's going to come on and do the eft tapping and then i'm just going to come back on and bid you guys farewell and thanks all right so breathing technique one more time four in hold for about five seconds and then two out all right here we go and you can just just by doing that breathing technique you can feel how your body starts to relax immediately okay guys as i promised miss jessica ordner is going to be coming on from the tapping solution and she's going to be showing you guys what eft tapping is where all of the points are which is this center on the bone of your eye eyebrow side of your eye under your eye under your nose these are all of the uh, points that you'll be touching right here on the collarbone under the arm you could do it like this or under the other one and then on the top of the head all right guys so i'll be back in a few minutes after jessica is completed talking with you guys all righty see you in a little bit bye welcome to the tappingsolution.com i am jessica ortner author of the new york times bestseller the tapping solution for weight loss and body confidence and in this short video, I am going to introduce you to the tapping points. Just by learning these nine points, you can start your journey to relieve stress. Many of these points you may already intuitively use. A lot of times when we're feeling anxious or stressed, we go like this, or we put our hand on our chest. Now we're using these points in a very conscious manner. So the very first point that you need to learn is the side of the hand. And it doesn't matter what side of the body you tab on. This point is called the karate chop point. You got it. And tap along with me so you can get comfortable with these points. The next point is the eyebrow point. And this is where the hair begins on your eyebrow right on that bone. There you go. You got it. Now you're going to follow that bone until you find yourself on the side of your eye. So it's not your temple, it's right on that bone. The next point is underneath the eye. So once again, you follow that bone until you find yourself right underneath the eye. And as you're tapping, you might notice that some points are more sensitive than others. The next point is underneath the, no the nose. So right between your upper lip and your nose. Then we have the under the lip point, or some people call it the chin point. And it's right underneath your lip on that crease between your chin and your lip. The next one is the collarbone point. So you can use your whole hand to tap on your chest or you can feel that U-shaped bone and if you go down an inch and over an inch on either side, you're going to hit that point. Perfect. The next point is underneath the arm and it's about a hand width from your armpit. For women, this is about where your bra strap lies. And then the last point, and yes, I know it looks silly, but a great point to hit a lot of these meridians is right on the top of the head. There you go. So those are the nine points. Now, when you want to start to tap, the first thing to do is to notice what is really coming up. What's your most pressing issue? Are you nervous about a deadline at work? Are you anxious 
about a phone call or some news that you've heard. Whatever it is, get clear on what's creating the anxiety in your body. Because when we are feeling stressed, we're not just experiencing stress in our head, we feel it with our whole body. Which is why it's so powerful to use a stress relief technique that incorporates the body. So you start by tapping on the side of the hand and you start with the setup statement. The setup statement is pretty easy and it sets you up for the process. You state your challenge and you end it with a phrase of acceptance or simply letting yourself know that you're okay. So it sounds something like this. Even though I'm really anxious about this meeting, I accept how I feel. Or even though I'm really stressed about this upcoming event, I accept how I feel and I give myself permission to relax. There's a lot of different ways to do the setup statement, but what's key is to let yourself know that you honor how you feel. Because too often when we're trying to move past an emotion, we're fighting against it. When we allow ourselves to accept where we are and how we feel, we open ourselves up to releasing it. Then you tap on the rest of the points by simply sharing how you feel. So you can pretend that you're calling a friend and you're just complaining, you're just telling them how you feel. This is the tape that you're probably already running in your head. So as a short example, going with this theme of being nervous about a meeting, it would start with tapping on the side of the hand and saying, even though I'm so nervous about this upcoming meeting, I accept how I feel and I give myself permission to relax. You would do that three times, and now you tap on the rest of the points while giving a voice to how you feel. And this sends a calming signal to your brain, letting your brain know that even though you're nervous about this meeting, that you are safe, that it's safe to relax. And when you can relax, you can be more resourceful and creative and do a great job at your meeting. So then you would go to the eyebrow point and say something like this stress around this meeting. Side of the eye, I'm nervous I won't do well. Under the eye, I care so much about this meeting and it's causing me anxiety. Under the nose, the stress around this meeting. Chin, all of these expectations. Collarbone, this tension I feel in my body. Underneath the arm, all the stress around this meeting. Top of the head, all this stress around this meeting. If you're not sure what to say, like I mentioned before, you can pretend you're talking to a friend or you can just say the same thing, honoring how you feel, the stress around this meeting, the stress around this meeting. And once we bring down the intensity, we can focus on some positive phrases. Because when we pull out the weeds, we're able to now seed. We can actually say positive things to ourselves and we believe them. So once you feel better, and that's the key, when you feel better, you can move to something more positive. So it would sound something like this. I am prepared. Side of the eye. I'm calm and confident. Under the eye. I'm ready to share my ideas. Under the nose, I feel strong and confident. Chin, this is my time. Collarbone, I am ready for this meeting. Under the arm, I feel calm and confident. Top of the head, now is my time. So you can incorporate how you're feeling, letting go of the anxiety, and when you're able to move that, then you bring in the more positive, and then it actually feels real. So next time you tap, notice, as soon as you start feeling better, try to put in some positive statements. You'll get to the point where you can think about that meeting, and your body feels relaxed. And when you feel relaxed, then it's easier to bring in more empowering thoughts. Now when you tell yourself that you can feel confident and prepared, you can believe yourself because you let go of the anxiety that was coming up with those thoughts. So that's a very, very quick introduction on where the tapping points are and how to tap. But here at thetappingsolution.com, we have a lot more resources so you can really learn how to get the best results. Well, it's been an honor to introduce tapping to you. I hope this is just the beginning. And until we meet again, take care and keep tapping.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's segment. We did two techniques to relieve stress. One was the breathing technique and the second one was with the lovely Miss Jessica Ordner and she was talking about EFT tapping. I hope you figure out which one works best or do them both. I simply do them both. I love them and they are lifesavers for you. If you're in a situation, as I mentioned earlier, that's causing stress and you need the stress to be lowered so you're not in a flight or fight mode so that your brain functions properly. Okay, guys. Well, until next week, I'm Sandy White, your number one health and wellness cheerleader and the host of Simply Fit. We broadcast every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WYTV7.org. If you get a chance, please go check out all of the other wonderful things that we're doing in the community. And we also have an app. So make sure you download the app so you know what we're doing each and every day. So you don't miss any of these wonderful segments or uh, events that we have in the community. Make sure you also share. Okay, guys, as usual, love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.